for us who are blind, um, what we need is something that is tactile. It, I mean, it could be dots, it could be shapes, but something that is tactile and something that is durable. Yesterday, the announcement came where we, will, we will, can expect new currency to be in circulation. How do you feel about this announcement? Well, um, what, I guess what we feel very good about is that uh, we will be consulted before it comes into, well, I'm assuming that we'll be consulted before it gets into circulation uh, because you know, for persons who are blind, um, identifying currency is a, is a, can be a big challenge. There is a situation where the currencies, no, the notes, they're all the same sizes. There is some marking on the currency, but most of us who are blind really don't pay any attention to it because it is very, very faint, so it can only be picked up maybe when the, the currency notes are brand new. Um, and often it, it, it feels like another crush on the money, so it's really not useful to us. I know um, we have been speaking with the Bank of Jamaica, and I think we, we had a meeting last year, and we were told that you know, the currency would, you know, they are doing some changes, and that we would be consulted before the the um, new note scheme, so we are still expecting that. What are some of the features you would want to see or feel on the new notes? All right, so for us who are blind, um, what we need is something that is tactile. I mean, it could be dots, it could be shapes, but something that is tactile and something that is durable, so even when the currency is crushed and creased, you you won't you you won't have a challenge identifying it so that's one thing of course for persons who are low vision um colors uh, and some make a big difference in terms of you know knowing what is what is what jamaica will soon be introduced the new currency notes right right can you firstly tell me how do you identify the current notes that we have in circulation all right so the easiest note for me to recognize in the current batch now is the $5,000 note and that's because it has that thin paper, um, plastic-like thing in the middle. So that's kind of easy to recognize. The others, if they are crisp, they're not crushed, then they have um, some, what will you call those now? Some little signatures. So for the five hundred dollars, it has a circle in the top right hand corner that can be used. But if it's crushed, there's no way that you can recognize it. But thankfully, we have an app now, which is called a Cash Reader, that we are able to hold the money over the camera of the phone, and it tells us the denomination. Apart from using the app, or uh, before the app came into being, mm -hmm. how did you identify the notes? Well, um, if, it, if it's a crisp money, like it just come, it's just coming from the bank, <clears throat> you can, there are some little symbols on it. Uh, the, I can remember the $500, it has a circle in the top right hand corner that you can feel. But if that money is crushed, it problems because you won't be able to feel that. Okay, so how do you identify a hundred dollars different from a fi um, fifty dollars? I think the fifty dollar has one line in the top right hand corner. Um, the hundred dollar has two. I mean, I remember quite clearly you now because since we get the app, I, mean, I really feel them like that before. But they have some little symbols. But if you are not that um, competent, you probably won't feel them. So what are some of the new? Symbols, marks, or things you hope the new money will have that you can identify with? Well, <clears throat> I don't know. That for me, they probably can use the same symbols, but make them a lot brighter. Um, um, like, probably use 
use a, a, a more raised um, material, I don't know, but something that is a lot, um, it is more, you may be able to feel it more then. Because as I say, if you gave me this money and it was crushed, I wouldn't be able to figure this out because it, the, the, the crush would have gotten rid of this this line right here. So I would hope that they would, if, if they are going to do that, they would make it a lot brighter. How do you feel about the new currency notes which the minister announced yesterday? Well, I think it's a, it's a good thing, a great thing, a fabulous thing. Um, if it is tactile um, for persons um, with a disability or blind or visually impaired, um, we find that no persons who are blind or visually impaired have to depend on persons to assist them in um, identifying some of the notes. I know for the $5,000 um, bill, it is very easy um, to identify. Um, for coins as well, but and um, so you find that we have to teach persons money management in how to arrange um, notes in their uh, uh, pocket wallets or their purses in order to, in terms of denominations or in terms of the different ways in which they fold their notes. So um, using uh, notes that are tactile, um, I think it's a great idea. This will um, help persons to be more independent in managing their monies and um, conducting business. I'm hoping that it is raised enough huh? and it's tactile so that person, it will not pose a problem to these person. They can still maintain, as I said, their independence in being um, independent and self-reliant, depending on themselves and managing their money. And know that when you go to a huh? shop, they can um, easily um, identify their change and the notes that